Alright, hey guys, this is Josiah here. Welcome back to another schedule prediction for the 2023 NFL season. You've seen, I've done the Ravens and the Bengals. Now it's time to do the Cleveland Browns. They are the next team up on the list. Um, so, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get on with it. Uh, for the Browns, first off, they had a lot of free agent moves. They had a lot of offseason moves. They got Elijah Moore, traded them with the trade of the Jets, traded with the Vikings in order to get Zadarius Smith. They also got Marquise Godwin. They got a lot of things. And Deshaun Watson, this will be the first full season he'll play since 2020. But we'll see. It's going to be a major question mark for Deshaun Watson, who I think went 3-3 three and three in the six games he played last season. Not the best, but we'll see. And right off the get-go, I have a loss already to the Bengals. Now, again, I think I said this at Bengals. I know Joe Burrow does terrible against the Browns. I think his record against them is a losing record. But I digress. The Bengals are good. I know T. Higgins and Joe Burrow are in contract situations right now, but I think they could still beat them. And now we got week two on Monday Night Football. They go up against the Steelers in the way game. Now, the Steelers are interesting. They're interesting. Kenny Pickett goes into year two. Same with George Pickens. You know, that they're going to that dynamic duo. They're going to be more experienced. They have a defense. They got Patrick Peterson uh, from the Vikings. Um... T.J. Watt, I think, is coming off an injury. Um, they also got Allen Robinson in a trade with the Rams. So, solid team. Solid team. Um, so, I think the I think the Steelers and Browns are like... The, the, the receiving core is a lot of talent. Not, not, they're not like the best. They're not like Tyreek Hill and Devontae Adams, that, that level, or Justin Jefferson. Um, but they, they, they have some, some possible talent in the receiving roster. And I think the Steelers just have more. I give me a give me a loss. They're already down to 0-2. They'll catch a break here against the Titans. I don't see the Titans having a good season. I just don't. Like I I've, I've again, I think they I think I said this before, I'm not gonna say it myself again. Like it's just I don't see it. I don't see something happening for the Titans. And they also lost a lot of big players on defense. David Long went to the what was it, the Dolphins. They lost Robert Woods. I forgot where he went to. Um Give me a win by the Browns. They're oh, they're one and two. Bring it down to one and three with a loss to the Ravens. Listen, the Ravens last time they played the Browns wasn't very good. Actually, last two times they played the Browns, like I mean, they they, they barely beat them in Week Seven uh, because their offense wasn't good. And then we actually lost to them thirteen to three because Greg Roman wouldn't run the ball. But we have Tom Munkin now. Greg Roman is gone. He stepped down as head coach in January. We don't have to worry about him anymore. Give me a win by the Ravens. Then you got your bye week very early in the season, week five. And then th things are not going to be good for them. They got the Niners. Uh, I don't really have to waste my time. The Niners are a Super Bowl contender. Give me a win by the Niners. Uh, so anyways, now we go on to the Colts. Now, the Colts are another team. Listen, Anthony Richardson. Listen, we don't know what to expect by any of these rookie quarterbacks. Because, listen, obviously they were good in college. But uh, just because they're good in college doesn't mean you're going to do good in the NFL, okay? We don't know what to expect by Anthony Richardson going into year one. They also got um, Gardner Minshew, which I nearly forgot about. They still have Michael Pittman. They still have Jonathan Taylor. Um, they lost uh, Stephon Gilmore. He got traded to the Cowboys. Um, I just don't, like, the Colts are not good. I don't see anything coming from the Colts. Give me a win by the Browns. Now we go to the Seahawks. Marquise Godwin's revenge game, if you will. Give me a win by the Seahawks. Honestly, I think the Seahawks might turn heads this season as they did last season. They they drafted Jackson Smith and Najibba. They also have Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf still. They brought back Bobby Wagner. Geno Smith's got a new contract now. This team could be a dark horse Super Bowl contender. I'm just saying. Like, watch out for the Seahawks. I'm just going to say that. Now in week 9, we got the Cardinals. Don't have to waste my time on the Cardinals. They might honestly go 0-14. Or 0-14, uh, what am I saying? 0-17, they lost DeAndre Hopkins. Give me a win by the Browns. And then you have another loss by the Ravens. Getting swept by the Ravens. And then we have the Steelers. Now, listen. I'm just not biased, okay? I, I'm not trying to be biased against the Steelers, okay? This is my honest opinion. But I do think the Browns are going to take this one. Listen, I think the Browns are the only team... Or the Steelers are the only team that the Browns will beat. I think they'll be like one and what are they? One and five, one and four against their division. One and five. I was looking at the away. They're one and four in the away game, but I just I, I don't know. I just again I mentioned the the receivers. 
Both have big talent. Big talent in the receiving room. I mentioned the Steelers were able to get them the first time. I don't see them getting it the second time. We got the Broncos. I think the Broncos could maybe, maybe make a comeback. Because last season, obviously, it was a abysmal disaster for the Broncos. But I don't see it. Give me a win by the Browns. And then we got the Rams, who will make a comeback, I think. They were injured. Stafford was injured. Cooper Cup was injured. They did lose a lot of players. They don't have Odell Beckham Jr. anymore. Allen Robinson's gone. Bobby Wagner, Leonard Floyd are all gone. Jalen Ramsey got traded to the Dolphins. They did lose a lot of players. However, I still think the Rams, the offense is fine. They did just uh, get back Sonny Michelle today, which is interesting. Uh, give, me, give me the Rams. I won't be surprised if the Browns win this one, but I just don't see anything good coming from the Browns this season. I just don't. I just don't. Moving on, we got the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jags are good. Let's get a loss there to the Jags. We got the Bears. I think the Bears can be really good this season. More importantly, I mean, they, they lost the first overall pick. They traded it to the Panthers. But in exchange for DJ Moore, that duo, looking at, like, OTAs and stuff, like, on that, like, videos, people are saying they're really good, and I think they could be really good. Bears win that. They did get an offensive tackle. Darnell Wright, I think it was his name. Um, so, yeah, I think they could be good. Now we got the Houston Texans. The Browns go up against the Houston Texans. They are currently sitting at 5-10 and 10 right now. The Texans might be good. They did get Dalton Schultz. They got a lot of good players. Devin Singletary. Um, they got CJ Stroud, their quarterback. They traded the, with the Cardinals for the third all pick to get Willie Anderson Jr. But I don't see it. Give me the Browns. Then we got the Jets. They have Aaron Rodgers. That team's explosive. Give me the Jets. And then I have a loss to the Bengals. Currently, final prediction, 6-11 and 11 by the Browns. They will finish dead last in the division. They won't make the playoffs for the third year in a row. I just, maybe th this could be rebuilding season. I think this could be rebuilding season by the Browns because Deshaun Watson's coming back for suspension. You got like a fresh new team with new, fresh new faces. I don't know. I just see, and then you also most likely don't have Kareem Hunt on the team anymore. You still have Nick Chubb though. Don't worry, you still have Nick Chubb. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens for the Browns this season. But, that's going to be it for the schedule prediction. Hope you guys enjoy. Smash like, subscribe, comment, all the notification bell, all that good stuff. Just do it as a suggestion because I know I don't support clout. Just a suggestion as always. But I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys. Bye.